Hi everybody. So if you've already watched our writing a CV video, great. Um, you now might want to um, think about how you need to tailor your CV based on particular jobs. Um, and the first one we're going to look at is how to tailor it in relation to full-time jobs. Um, so I'm going to show you an example of an advertised full-time job and then talk you through the kind of things you want to be um, including in your CV and adapting your CV to make sure that it's as good as possible so that hopefully you're going to get put in a position where you can get an interview and hopefully get the job. So I'm going to talk to you about how to tailor your CV for a full-time job. I've done this separately to part-time jobs because actually what you'll find is quite often with full-time jobs is there's more information in the job advertisement than you'll get in part-time. So with part-time jobs you sometimes have to kind of guess what sorts of skills and experiences they want from you. But you'll find with full-time jobs they usually give you a bit more information and you can use this to your advantage. So I've got a job here which has been advertised recently for a trainee dog groomer and um, this is a full-time job gives you a description um, actually of the company and then of the sort of main responsibilities that you'll have and then a little bit later on about what you can expect from them what i've done is just start to highlight some of the the key things that you will want to be putting or making sure you have covered in your CV. The idea being is that if they can see that you have got all the skills and qualities they want really easily in your CV and in your covering letter, then you're much more likely to get an interview. So let's just have a look at this. It starts by saying, this is a fantastic opportunity to come and work for a company voted fifth in the great place to work, best large workplace awards and number 15 in Europe in 2007. Um, we have over 450 stores and over 310 groom rooms in the UK's number one pet care business. Our business is fast paced, innovative and fun. Right, so you don't need to be talking about this in your CV. However, in your covering letter, it would be a really good idea to mention that you would be really pleased to work for a company that has won awards for its workplace. It is obviously a growing company, you know, they've got lots of stores. And you can also mention about um, enjoying working in a fast-paced, innovative, fun environment. If you've got examples of where you've already done that, even better. But it's just acknowledging what they've already put in their job advertisement. They're obviously proud of it. And by you kind of echoing that and talking about it in your, in your covering letter, even better if you've managed to actually look up the business online and see if there's anything else um, that you might want to mention. So remember, your covering letter isn't just all about saying, you know, how great you are. It's also saying why you're a really good fit for them and why you'd like to work for that company. So moving on to some of the responsibilities. First off, they say you'll deliver the very highest standard of pet care. Um, so if you have any experience whatsoever working with dogs, ideally dogs but other animals as well, then this is the, the time to be really you know, advertising that, ideally in your opening profile bit where you talk about what you have to offer. If you have had any experience professionally, then that's all you've, you've been studying dog grooming or animal care. This is the time to, to mention it. You know, they actually say your main responsibility will be the prepping and, and bathing of pets as well as clipping nails. Um, so if you've done any of that, again, make sure you mention it. Um, you will exceed our customers' expectations by delivering po positively, love that, outrageous service. So if you maybe haven't done a huge amount of working with animals, but you have had some customer service experience, now's the time to mention it. So, you know, what have you done that makes a difference? Or if you've worked in an environment where animals do come in, how have you made them feel comfortable? How have you made their owners feel comfortable? Even if that's in a hospitality setting, maybe you've worked in a cafe that was animal friendly, you can mention that. Excellent communication skills, absolutely one to be, you know, talking about any way, which way you've gained those. That could be through school, it could be through college, it could be through volunteering, it could be through work. It says that you'll be dealing with customers and pets on a daily basis, so have, can you demonstrate that you can cope well with that? You'll assist in ensuring excellent salon presentation. 
um, that it's well maintained and high standards are kept through cleanliness, safety and good standards of housekeeping. So again, if you've worked or had any part in making sure places are kept well maintained and cleaned at the end of the day, it's really worth you mentioning that. So about you, you'll be a people person have a real passion for pets as, as well as being a great team player. So remember, while it's really important to be talking about animals, the animals come with humans, so <laughs> um, they don't just walk in off the street by themselves. So make sure you talk about how you would work with people as well as, as pets. You'll be hungry to be part of a successful salon and be proactive in your approach. So again, if you can give any examples of where you have shown initiative, that you're not just sort of hanging around and waiting for something to happen, that you, you know, you'll go and clean or you'll go and talk to customers, and um, that's a really good thing to be mentioning. Um, ideally, you'll have experience of working with or handling pets in a professional grooming or pet care environment. Please note that bathing and prepping your own pet does not qualify as professional experience. I'm sure some of you might think, oh, that's a shame, you know, I've got loads of experience. If, you know, ideally you want to be talking about it in a professional environment, but even if it's, you know, your neighbour's pets or other people that you know um, who you've looked after, it's worth mentioning that if you don't have that professional experience because it might be that they have other things to, to offer. That. And lastly, having a grooming or pet care related qualification would also be beneficial. If you have it, absolutely, you know, start with that, lead with that in your, in your profile at the top because that's going to immediately make you stand out. And then it just tells you about, you know, the benefits. So I would like like I've done here, highlight all of those key things. So in any job application that you are interested in, go through it like we've just done. Highlight all of the, the key expectations, the key um, person um, requirements. And, and then when you have written or tailored your CV, look back at it and make sure you have mentioned every single thing or as many things as you can possibly mention. You can even use the same language to a certain extent. So, you know, pick out those, um, those key words that they have used. Um, you know, here they talk about positively outrageous service. You might not want to say that exactly, but try and have a similar tone, especially in your covering letter. Uh, have a go at it. Any questions you've got at all, you're always welcome to, to ask us, you can DM us, contact us via the website and hopefully this has given you a bit of an idea about what what include in EV and how best to get the most out of job advertisements so that you are going to be first in line for an interview. Okay, take care guys, bye!